The signal monitoring tool allows the user to monitor a locked signal continuously, whether it is terrestrial, cable or satellite, and measuring and storing the quality measurements over time. First, we will need to select the band where we want the equipment to operate, terrestrial or satellite, and tune one specific RF channel. We then can access the signal monitoring tool by pressing F3 and selecting Signal Monitoring. If the signal is DBBT2, the meter will ask you which PLP we want to monitor specifically. Before we start monitoring, we will access to these tool settings by pressing F4, Advanced, and selecting Configuration. Here we can set the name of the file, where all the measurements will be stored, add some comments in the Comments field, Choose whether we want the monitoring measurements to be taken manually every time we press the joystick or continuously with a specific sampling rate. This sampling rate is set in the sample time field. The minimum sampling time is one second. Span time defines the span of time shown in the horizontal axis in the graph being displayed on the screen. Finally, save to will let you choose between saving the monitoring file in the internal Edge Ranger's memory or in an external drive which can be connected to the meter through the mini USB physical interface. Now we are ready to launch our monitoring task. We can do so by accessing to the settings once again, pressing F4 and selecting Start. The monitoring task can be paused at any moment pressing on Pause or finalize by pressing stop. In the left part of the screen, the meter shows us the spectrum analyzer current trace under the span previously selected in the spectrum analyzer mode. Below that, we can see the continuous acquisition of the power level, carrier to noise, and MER measurements for each sample through time. In the right part, the frequency being monitored is shown, along with some additional information such as the power level, carrier to noise, and MER measurement values. The elapsed time since the monitoring task started, number of samples taken, and space left in the memory drive used. Once the monitoring task is stopped, the monitoring file will be closed and three plots will be displayed on screen showing you the complete set of samples. You can go over all the samples across the plots and visualize on the right the values for all the quality measurements, power level, carrier to noise, single frequency offset, MER, pre-BR, post-BR, and link margin. All this information is included in the monitoring file for all samples. Once we have reviewed these plots, we can close them by pressing F1, close, to go back to the signal monitoring main screen.